What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alex. We're here to talk about spirits or so and what emotional and mental abuse looks like because that's what he's doing to this girl. Now, if you followed him for long enough to know him back when he was so Illuminati, you already know that this dude's a megalomaniac and a narcissist. He treats women terribly. If you've seen the way he treated Ash, he basically treated Ash like... She came to this man and told this man basically she had a bad past with her family and she used to be a stripper and stuff. And he broke her down mentally. Like he used her body, her ass and all that stuff to get views, to get traction. Rubbing on her butt on camera. He basically treated her like a complete whore and then threw her to the side. And then she was the spiritual one. He was never spiritual. She was the spiritual one. And then he took the spiritual thing and ran with spiritual So He's not really spiritual. I know all this because Sam followed him when he was so Illuminati. So I watched this whole fake ass transition. He's not really spiritual. All he knows about spirituality is the base level stuff, which is don't believe everything you hear, you know, and then meditate and sun gaze. This man don't really know spirituality. He ain't got no ancestor shrine. You guys understand what I'm saying to you? He don't know about rainbows. So listen, spirituality goes deep, guys. There's a book called Rainbow Soul that not only breaks down how Jesus resurrected himself, but also brings up another man who did the same thing. His body completely disappeared within seven days. Okay? Like, so don't know none of this. <laughs> All he did was break one girl down to the point where she our only fans now and then take her spiritual thing and run with it. He already had a big fan base, so they just going to believe anything he says. And now he done found him another girl to break down. But I want to show this to y'all because when women say emotional and mental abuse, this is what it is. This is what emotional and mental abuse is. Just watch the way this dude treats this girl. Let's get into it. I'm a spiritual channel. That's how you know it's some serious shit. Like, come on, man. You know? But listen, I got some fresh, fresh homemade pancakes with some, what type of biscuit? I mean, sausages is these? Uh, vegan. Vegan sausages. Plant-based. Plant-based. Plant-based, so in the building. Now, check this out. I told y'all I had a Q&A for y'all. This is the Q&A. I want to do, this girl been around me for the past three, four months. She been taking care of me. I'm a fucking snack now. So check this out. While I eat, I got some questions for her. But first, let me hurry up because let me cut these real quick. Can you cut these for me? Thank you. All right, here, here's problem number one. She already made you the damn pancakes. She already made you the damn biscuit. She already served it to you. What the hell she got to cut your pancakes for you for? What, like, again... What does she, again, she made the pancakes, she made the biscuits, she served them to you. Why does she now have to cut your pancakes? That doesn't make any sense. And then look, he flexing. He flexing like that because he wants to show y'all, oh, look, she do whatever I ask, she do whatever I ask. See, this is corny. This is not submission. This is a dude trying to flex. This is a dude who acted like he never even been around a chick before. This is ridiculous the way this dude acting. But just keep watching, y'all, because it's going to get way worse than this. I want y'all to pay attention that he just said he on day five of no sex. Pay attention because that's going to come back up later. Look, now, he done asked her to cut the fucking pancakes. Now he complaining about how she cut the pancakes. This is feminine. This is corny shit. This is cornball shit. It's good. You asked her to cut your pancakes like you a kid, so she cut your pancakes like she would for a five-year-old, and now you mad that she done cut it into mad pieces. You're supposed to just go, eh, eh. You could have did that to yourself. See, this is not submission. This is slavery. This is narcissism. This is, I got this girl off the hook. This is, I got all this clout. This is, I got this lifestyle. And I want to put this out there just to show y'all how much power I have. This is nothing but a narcissism treat, trip for him. This makes no sense. How you going to ask someone to cut something for you didn't complain about how they cut it? Just eat the damn pancakes, yo. But it gets worse than this. Keep watching. I take, like, sand, sand. <laughs> You're right, right. Look. Put a syrup in. Good, right here. Right. 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 So listen. Look at this clown. Look at this clown. Right. Now he cheesing. See what I'm saying? This shit is corny. She already brought you the syrup. It's already open. 
She give you the syrup. You start to put the syrup on there because that's what a normal human being would do. You stop yourself and ask her to pour the damn syrup on there. This ain't submission. This is slavery. This is a megalomaniac narcissist taking complete advantage of the fact that he's on a higher status than a woman. That's exactly what this is. This isn't submission. He has submission when she cooked the damn pancakes and the damn sausage and she gave them to his ass. That was submission. This is ridiculous. But keep watching because believe it or not, it gets worse. Where's my fork? Oh. All right, so listen. Oh my gosh. So. <sighs> the first question I want to ask her. How do you feel about me? How do you feel about me holding on to my sexual, you know, sexual energy? You get no day for me. For, for, I'm doing this shit like I've been feeling good. Now y'all realize why I told y'all to pay attention to earlier. This man said he had sex five days ago. So if he didn't have sex with her, then who did he have sex with? Oh my God. I should connect my goddamn buzzer for this. Where Where is my goddamn buzzer? I need my buzzer for this one. Hang on. Let me repeat that one to y'all because y'all, y'all don't understand. <laughs> y'all got to understand. This man literally just said, I had sex five days ago. Okay. Then he turned around and said, you ain't getting no D from me because I'm on retention. So pick a lie. Pick a lie. He either had sex with her five days ago, so he's lying about that, or he cheated on her five days ago. Either way, he's still, he's lying. He's lying. But anyway, let's keep going. Ain't glowing. Look at me. My pack look better. <laughs> like you every. so much energy. Dude. So much already. It's been impossible for me to hold on with this beautiful lady around me. It's tough. I know how y'all niggas feel who be doing this shit. How do you feel? How do you feel about you not getting no attention that you normally get sexually? You're going to be having your urges. It's going to be very testing for you. How do you feel? Um, I'm serious about this shit, y'all. It's hard, but I got to just deal with it. I'm do what I got to do. Why is it hard, honey? Well, it's not that hard, but... I don't need pussy. Like, the pussy don't control me. It's not hard for me. It might be hard later on, but like... But first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all. Why would you say, oh, it's not hard for me. Pussy don't concern me. Again, I'm going to go back to what you said at the beginning of the video. I had sex five days ago. But that's neither here nor there. She's clearly trying to flatter you by saying it's hard. She might not even be trying to flatter him. She might legit just be like, I'm attracted to you. I mean, they're together, so I'm sure she's attracted to him. My point is, it's a compliment to say, well, it's hard, but, you know, I get it. It's helping you. Why would you turn it into, why is it hard? Why it's not hard for me to not get the pussy? At that point, you're being ridiculous. You're being absolutely ridiculous, yeah. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. It's like... No matter what she says, she's going to be wrong. But this gets even worse. So make sure y'all keep watching. It's not hard, hard, but it's like, you know. It's just, you know, it's hard. Temptation. Are you going to be able to go through that without no bullshit? Of course. Because it's for you. How do you feel about me wanting 10 kids? Now listen, before I leave this earth, I want at least 10 to 15 kids. For the simple fact, black people is going instinct. Like I looked on them, it's only 50 fucking million people in the United, 50 fucking, 50 million black people. Where the fuck is the blacks? Black people, black people are not going instinct. This dude, I ain't even going to go into that. Black people are not going instinct. That's just a stupid statement to even make. Niggas, to over 200. As a matter of fact, if you actually look this up, most of the country is going to be black. Because you guys got to understand, black is a dominant gene. So anytime... Like, for example, if you're white and you mix with a black person, most of the time, the kids is going to come out black. Through some type of mix in between Hispanic and black people, the country is predicted to be mostly brown by 2050. And this dude talking about some black people going extinct. He just be talking. This is why I say he's not really spiritual. He's just a whole ass character. But again, he, this gets worse as far as his treatment towards her. So let's keep going. So listen. It's been some spiritual girls that I have been talking to. They live around here. How do you feel about me training with other girls? Training with them? Like training, like them just being around this energy. You know, I've been holding on to. 
How do you train people in spirituality? Spirituality is a mental self-discipline, connecting yourself with the universe, connecting yourself with God. How do you train someone's spirituality? My dude, you're not a shaman. How the hell is them telling him everything they going through, training them, and how he going to turn around and say he feel like a messiah? I repeat, how the hell is him telling, how is them telling him that everything they're going through, okay, and him listening to it, training them, and how the hell does that make him a messiah? What the hell is this dude talking about? Again, megalomaniac and narcissist, but watch her response to this ridiculousness. Does her face look like she don't mind? Does her body language look like she don't mind? Does her eyes look like she don't mind? She in her head like this. This her. She definitely mind. But again, she's scared to say anything that might go against what this dude wants. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. He like, you know, that's tough. That's stupid. He knows that's stupid. She, he knows she's goofy. And he got her mentally to the point where she'll do anything to please him or say anything to please him. That doesn't even make any sense. He basically was just like, I got other girls, but he didn't have the balls to say, I got other girls. So he said it in a different way, which he's about to do again, but in a more disrespectful way. Y'all got to see this one. Hold up. Feminine behavior. I've been looking sexy. Would you, you and Lilith Mare as a grown man? But watch what he says, y'all. My baby. I know, I see you every day. How do you feel about me making the only pants? My baby. How are you going to make an only f how are you going to ask how she feel about you making the OnlyFans when you have multiple videos on the same exact channel talking about Ash like a dog for making the OnlyFans? You said Ash is supposed to be spiritual and her soul is demonic. Her soul is Jezebelic. Her soul is Lilithith. Okay, you guys got to understand. Because she made an OnlyFans, now he's talking about making the OnlyFans. Now, even if he's trolling her to embarrass her, this is clearly the troll and embarrass her because this is mental abuse. This is emotional abuse. This is all part of the plan to get control over her. That's why I said this is not submission. When women say you treat me like a slave, this is what they're talking about. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to see. He wants her to basically just be like, yes, this is almost like um, what you call it. Um, coming to America where the girls just woof, 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 on one foot. That's basically what this is. But it gets worse. Let's continue. Look, look at this. Look at this. Again, does it really look like she wants him to do that? Nope. <laughs> he just puts on the limits at this point because he wants to see how far he could go without her saying anything. Look at this dude. He don't even know what to do with the submission that he has from her. He's just being ridiculous at this point. You can just say, okay, we can have an open relationship. 
You could just say that. He want to go all around the bed. What if I have an OnlyFans? What if I have spiritual female friends and I'm training them? You know what they're doing on there. They're fucking. You want to go all around the bush. This is beta-ass behavior, but he coming off overly masculine to cover how beta he really is deep down. This dude's insecure as hell. This makes no sense. You're literally putting her on video to basically say any ridiculous thing that you can say just to show, oh, look how I got her. What's the point, dog? Any woman who's in love with you is going to basically do whatever you want. This is completely taking advantage of the situation. Again, mental and emotional abuse, this is what it looks like. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Anything he says, she going to say back. Anything he says, she going to say back. She's literally scared to upset this dude. Again, this is what it looks like when you come from, oh, show the people your ass. Show the people the camera. You, as soon as she says, I told you to say what you want to say. Well, I say this. Okay, but no one cares what you want to say. Watch this. But it's some things, it's some things that you probably can't do that that I need. Like I said, I'm a spiritual being, you know, I'm gay, there's some shit that I need, you know. How do you feel about me? How do you feel, hold on. How do you feel about, a, about me having a polygamous relationship? And what did I tell y'all? This dude is doing all this just to get to, can I have an open relationship? But he could have just said that. I told y'all a long time ago, it's all open anyway, but that's besides the point. The point is he literally could have just said that. He acted like a girl. Well, what if I might, uh, maybe I might need something if I messed up a little bit. He coming up with all these different things. What about the OnlyFans? What if I have spiritual female friends? Just ask for other bitches. Just ask. At this point, she's going to clearly say yes to anything you say. He doesn't even know how to what to do with this level of submission. That's why I said this is basically slavery. He has to do dumb shit like cut his pancakes and pour the shirt. He don't even know what to do. He's scared to ask for other women. I didn't ask all this other stuff. I told you this was around the way bush of getting to that. Dude's not spiritual. He's just a dog with a big following. But let's wrap this up. Some girls that can do stuff that you can't do, and it ain't even that ain't even fucking disrespectful. Everybody got their serious powers yeah, here. You literally turned me into a fucking god. Literally, look at me, man. Stop playing with me. What's your definition, though? Just You're another wrong. girl around doing things for me. Nothing sexual. I'm holding on to my energy. That's it. Another girl around doing doing stuff for me, like playing seeds for me. Doing the little things that you probably can't not don't she can even teach you stuff. What you think about that? That would be cool. <laughs> what? Look, 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 look. He don't even know what to do with the answer. I told y'all she was gonna say yeah before she even said yeah. Alright, look, that's enough of this nonsense. My point in here is this. Okay. He got submission from this girl. And what he decides to do is, oh, cut my pancakes. Oh, pour my syrup. This is what women mean when they mean, say, oh, this is basically like slavery. This was literally just him wanting to come out and show y'all, look, I got her so trained, I can say, oh, I want other women. And she gonna go, yeah. A real man wouldn't even say, what's the point in doing all that? Why would you bring her on the camera just for her to say that? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. That doesn't make any sense. He basically just brought her out here to basically embarrass her. That's essentially what he did. This is abuse of submission. This is mental and emotional abuse. You've already been showing the girl's ass. Now you're on the camera just talking to her however. What if I want other bitches? What if I want to make an OnlyFans? What if I want to do whatever? She's just like, like I said, it's like coming to America. Two, two, two. This dude is a megalomaniac. This dude is a narcissist. This is what women mean when they say mental and emotional abuse. This is what women mean when they say you're treating me like a slave. I just had to show y'all that really quick because y'all needed to see this. Look at some of his videos with Ash. Like I said, it's even worse. It's literally even worse. Dude's not spiritual. 
He's a YouTube character. I already told y'all about these fake ass YouTube dudes, man. I mean, y'all can take a little bit of what they're saying because a lot of it is truth, but then some of it's sprinkling lies and agendas. So you can take a little piece of what they're saying, but don't take none of them too serious. But when you have a woman who's off the hook, guys, when you have a woman who's ready to do whatever is necessary, treat her the right way. And what I mean by that is, okay, baby, you whipped it up. You made me the pancakes. You made me the sausage or whatever the case may be. Now I'm about to blow your back out and I'm about to tell you what crypto invest to invest in. Or I'm about to take you out somewhere nice, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm about to get you laced up or something like that. You don't put her on YouTube in front of a million people and say, can I have an OnlyFans? Can I have an open relationship? Because at the end of the day, a real masculine man already knows he can have an open relationship. I've been told y'all that a long time ago. That was one of the first videos I ever put on this channel. This is trying to show off. This is a little boy who has submission and then he turns it into mental and emotional abuse because he don't know what else to do besides ask her how to do bird shit and ask her to bring him food and stuff. He don't even know what to do with the submission he's asking for. He doesn't even know what to do with it. He's surprised by it. Guys, like I said, this is not what you do when you do have a woman off the hook. This is not what you do when you do have a woman submissive. Okay? When you have a woman who's submitting to you, at the end of the day, you're supposed to treat her like you don't bring her online and embarrass her and downplay her whole character and basically make it seem like, oh, you're going to let me do whatever I want. That's not the right way to handle the situation. You don't ask her to cut up damn pancakes when she already made you pancakes. This is just a mega low maniac. This is just a narcissist. This is just a dude who really wants to feel like he's that guy and he's taking it all the way to that level. And I just had to break all that down for y'all really quick. I'm Alex and I'm out. Peace.